So one of the questions we often get is why should we adopt Trail Guide to the Body into our program? And it's a great question. I think the answer revolves around time. Palpatory anatomy by its nature is an art and a skill. And art and skills just take practice. They take uh, good instruction. They just take time to learn what you need to learn. And palpatory anatomy is not something that you can learn in an afternoon. Uh, how to isolate structures and locate them and shorten and lengthen them, for example. No, it's not like learning your ABCs or basic math. Trail Guide to the Body and its resources have purposely been designed to basically support you in your learning of palpatory anatomy. We make it fun, we make it interesting, and most of all, we teach you the really practical, functional things that you need in everyday life as a manual therapist. I always like to make the joke that no one ever puts out a sign that says, Andrew Beal, professional palpator. You know, no, no one ever sees that. And the reason is because palpation unto itself is like a taxi driver that gets you to where you want to go. It's not the end result. It's the thing that gets you to where you want to go so that then you can apply your manual uh, modality skills in a way that's most effective and efficient for your clients. So all of this leads to the fact that if students don't initially learn basic palpatory anatomy skills that would have contained confidence and experience and precision, the question comes up, what's the alternative? Well, the alternative isn't pretty. The alternative is you've got practitioners who have vague, unconfident, inexperienced, and somewhat confused hands-on skills. And I think we've all been on the table once or twice and suffered the slings and arrows of what it's like to feel that. It's not pretty and it's unnecessary because you're not the only person in the room who's wanting your hands-on skills to be as best as they can be. No, there's the client who's on the table who's wanting to relieve some pain or help their functional anatomy or whatever their intention might be of seeing you as a practitioner. And it's your job to deliver the best skills you can. And that's where palpation becomes, again, that taxi driver that helps you get there and get the job done.